Okay, so today we're going to be doing chipping. And the things about chipping is it affects a lot of parts of your game. Things that you're going to work on and hear about is your tempo, the, the lag in your wrist, the length of your swing, the solid contact, and getting control of that ball as it rolls up next to the hole. It's a good feeling, and at the same time, it improves your strike uh, and makes you a happy golfer. Okay, so we're going to get started here. The first thing we're going to address is our setup and why we do it. When you're addressing this ball, one of the things you don't want to do is stand straight with your feet or wide. So when you address this ball, you want to stand more narrow. And also, a little trick is to turn your feet to the side. And by doing this, you allow the club to actually strike more shallow or brushing the grass, as they call it. And this keeps you from grabbing that grass. We've all done that shot. Uh, so this is the best way to strike the ground if you're just trying to brush the ball off that grass. Okay, the next step of this is our stroke. So what we do here is we want to get control of how hard we're going to hit this ball each time. And the best way is to create a consistent stroke. In chipping, you need to swing the club or the handle past your right kneecap. It needs to stop. When you swing through, you need to stop on your left knee. This calls for a very consistent stroke. Gets control of the ball, gets control of the speed, and it runs out just like a putt. Very controlled. Gives you very good solid contact. If I tend to, to swing this club too far, I add too much wrist, and again, I hit the shot too far. So again, let's go back. Swing back to the right kneecap and finish right on that left kneecap. Okay, so the next thing is we're gonna go ahead and see this swing in action. Um, so I'm just off the green. We'll say the ball's a couple steps off from where I'm gonna land it. And we're gonna do our little setup with our feet open. Swings kneecap to kneecap. Gonna land the ball onto the green. Watch it roll down that little hill, a little tricky shot. Ooh, I'll take that. Okay, that was a great shot. So, how did I come up with that shot and how did I know what club to hit? So, one of the neat things is I know a formula from when I was a little kid and it hasn't changed over all this time. Um, when my ball is in this position, I need to lift that ball into the air and make it land onto the green and then run out like a putt. And as you notice, when I hit these shots, you saw it go right in between these cones I've got set up on the green. Well, that's my landing area. So what I wanna do is I wanna walk to that landing area and I'm gonna count my steps. So that's one, two, three, four. So that's where I'm gonna land it. I'm gonna take that number and I'm gonna remember it and now I'm going to start over and I'm going to walk to the hole. So to walk with me on this, it's so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So sixteen was my second set of numbers. So I take that first number, four, and I divide it into that second set of numbers, which was sixteen. And it gives me four. So four is designated in your bag as an eight iron. Each club has a number assigned to it. Oh, number one is assigned to a sand wedge. A number two is assigned to a pitching wedge. Three, a nine iron. Four, an eight iron. Five, a seven iron. And six, a six iron. So it's a great formula. It's easy. All you have to do is swing kneecap to kneecap, change your clubs accordingly, and you'll hit it right up next to the hole.